Okay, folks, another movie review. This one was sent by my friend Jonathan, and he had been requesting this review for a couple of weeks now. So here it is, 1972, directed by John Huston. Fat City, with a standout performance from Stacy Le Stacy Keach. VHS. So let's talk about this particular picture. I don't know. <laughs> this movie has an hour and 40 minute runtime, and it is an important movie to the locale in which I live, the Central Valley. Shot entirely on location in San Joaquin County in Stockton. So this is based off of the 1969 book by the same name, written by Leonard Gartner. John Huston directed one of my personal favorites, which I reviewed on my old channel, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. I believe that movie came out in 1948. This movie has very high ratings. It debuted at the Cannes Film Festival in 1972. And... The director, John Huston, you know, he's known for movies like I mentioned, Treasure of the Sierra Madre, The Maltese Falcon, a lot of 1940s type of black and white pictures that you would know if I mentioned them. He was drawn to this picture because he himself was a boxer in his youth. And at age 15, he was an amateur lightweight boxer in California. And he ended his career after he suffered a broken nose, so he didn't go far. That being said, uh, Houston cast several real-life boxers that were famous of the era in the film to play different bit parts. And originally, the main role of a guy, one of the main characters, goes by Billy Tully. He, Houston had wanted to cast Marlon Brando, and Marlon Brando kept shining him on and wouldn't give him a definitive answer. So then he ended up casting relatively unknown Stacy Keach, who I thought was... Uh, excellent performance and then the other the other star in the movie was jeff bridges and houston originally wanted his older brother Bo to play that role but then Bo turned it down saying he was too young but he recommended his younger brother jeff and so then we get the two main characters in this movie uh susan tyrell also one of the notable female actresses in the movie there was not a budgetary description anywhere that i could find on wikipedia it, they called this a sports noir genre, and it is, I, I read a quick note that said it's kind of a bleak film, and it, it's hard to believe that this guy is 30 years old in this role, and he plays a 30-year-old in the movie, and it's just like, did people look older back in the old days? Because I'm 36, and I don't feel like I look as old and weathered as this guy. Now, granted, this character had had a hard life. He was kind of trying to rebuild his boxing career that he'd kind of neglected, but then he's a big drinker, he's got a lot of demons, his wife had left him that they mentioned in the movie, and he's lived a rough life. And then the um, Jeff Bridges kid, he knocks up some girl at 18, they get married, he's trying to make his way and not just do menial jobs, but try to become a boxer of some notoriety, and then the movie just kind of goes from there. It was not my favorite movie, which is surprising because of critics loved this movie. It was good, but it just, it was okay. Rotten Tomatoes, an incredibly rare 100% Rotten Tomatoes score. Um, I think Roger Ebert said that he felt like this was one of John Huston's best films. Again, I my favorite Huston film is Treasure of the Sierra Madre. IMDb 7.3 out of 10. I don't really like how Google changed their ratings. It's hard to find it and pinpoint it, so I'm just going to give my rating. It's still a higher rating, but it's not a 5 out of 5. I am going to settle on 4 out of 5 for Fat City. It just kind of ended, and it was very bleak. But you know what? That's a slice of life. That's reality. Sometimes your dreams and hopes and ambitions do not pan out the way that you want. Such is life. And interestingly, so the movie was mostly filmed in the Skid Row area of Stockton. Stockton, as you know now, it's kind of sad. Um, there's some nice parts, but most of it's kind of downtrodden. So there was a former Skid Row that was torn down entirely after filming of this movie wrapped up that made way for the Highway 4 connector that spans from I-5 to Highway 99. So all the filming locations for most of this movie do not exist anymore. Interesting. Interesting. And I just like it because I love the Central Valley. It's where I live, Stockton, albeit kind of 
cruddy in some parts. It is a very cool historic city and I hope that it has a renaissance. And I recommend this movie to you if you like boxing. Put it up there with a, a decent movie that my uh, friend Jonathan also sent me. This one of uh, his favorite movies, The Hammer, another boxing movie. Also, you could check out the review on that one on my channel. I've done a lot of boxing reviews. Uh, another one that I did um, last year, Hard Times, on my old channel. If you want to get into boxing genres, there's some classics out there. This movie is considered a classic. Um, check it out. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.